Here is an overview of SAP List Viewer. SAP List Viewer is a generic display tool that creates a standard ergonomic list from predefined data. SAP List Viewer standardizes and simplifies the use of lists in the SAP system by providing a uniform interface and a list preparation function. SAP List Viewer can be used to display simple and hierarchical sequential lists. SAP List Viewer contains a number of interactive functions such as sorting, summation, filtering, and so on. You can change the layout of lists without selecting the data beforehand. You can also save the changed list layout in variants. To display and change documents in SAP List Viewer, select an item. Choose Display Document to display the details. Choose Change Document to make changes to the document. You can choose multiple items to carry out a mass change in all the corresponding documents. Choose Refresh List to see the changes in the line item list. If the changes are not visible, you can see the reasons in the Change Errors log using the corresponding push button. You can choose whether you need to branch to the document item view or the document overview of the document display. The accounting editing options contain a corresponding checkbox. Following are the generic functions of SAP List Viewer. Select single or multiple columns. Sort in ascending or descending order. Set and delete filters. Get a total and subtotal.
view an SAP List Viewer or ALV List with the SAP Crystal Reports Viewer, perform the following steps. Execute an ALV List for the Customer Line Item Display. For example, for customers 1171 and 1172 in company code 1000. Switch the classic list to grid control. SAP Crystal Reports enables you to design, explore, visualize and deliver compelling reports. Leverage professional reports. Empower users to explore reports with on-report sorting and parameters. Minimize IT and developer effort by using interactive reports. Develop powerful data mashups. Save valuable report design time. Embed professional-looking reports in Java and .NET applications. Tailor your solution by adding report management and viewing tools. SAP Crystal Reports enables you to design, explore, visualize and deliver compelling reports. Following are the benefits of SAP Crystal Reports. Leverage professional reports. Empower users to explore reports with on-report sorting and parameters. Minimize IT and developer effort by using interactive reports. Develop powerful data mashups. Save valuable report design time. Embed professional-looking reports in Java and .NET applications. Tailor your solution by adding report management and viewing tools. To choose the SAP Crystal Reports entry in the View tab page of the ALV Layout Definition, work with SAP Systems with SAP NetWeaver 7.02. Install the SAP Crystal Reports Viewer for SAP Business Suite applications on each client. Allow Crystal Reports for the SAP List Viewer to do the following task. For SAP GUI or ALV Grid, in customizing for SAP NetWeaver, Choose Application Server, SAP List Viewer or ALV. Maintain SAP GUI, specific settings and set the Allow Crystal Reports flag. For WebDIN Pro ABAP, in customizing for SAP NetWeaver, choose Application Server, SAP List Viewer or ALV. Maintain WebDIN Pro ABAP specific settings and set the Allow Crystal Reports flag. The printed results of the generic report look the same as the reports displayed on the what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG screen. Hint, you can also download and export the generic report, edit it with the Crystal Reports Designer and then upload and import it again to the ERP system.
When you display the line item list, you can choose between the ALV Classic list and the ALV Grid Control. With some lists, you cannot switch between the two layouts. This is a special feature of the line item list. The ALV Classic list outputs a simple list where the rows and column formatting is predefined. The ALV Grid Control outputs a grid control list that functions like a spreadsheet. For example, columns can dynamically be adjusted to fit the length of text. You can control the grid design with the IDFIT underscore ALVC parameter. For example, if you switch the list to grid control, the value is saved in your user parameters. When you call up the list, this value appears automatically in the corresponding design. This means that the next time you log on to the system, you need not reselect the required layout. You can display the settings and change them, if necessary, with the help of transaction FB00 on the Line Items tab page. You can also display and change parameters with the help of transaction code SU3. When you display a list, you can choose between different layouts. SAP provides various standard layouts that you can supplement with your own standard layouts. User-created standard layouts start with a slash. You can choose a standard layout as your default layout. If the indicator for a display variant is set as the initial variant, 
This variant is used for the list output unless you explicitly specify an alternative display variant. If you have defined layouts and user specific layouts, you will be able to select them too. You can enter SAP List Viewer or ALV Initial Layout in the Accounting Editing options. If you have not set any defaults or preferences, you will see the predefined default layout, namely 1 SAP. If you have chosen an ALV Initial Layout in Display Variant Management, then the ALV Initial Layout takes precedence over 1 SAP and becomes valid for all users. You can set a default layout in your user parameters for each of the financial accounting or FI ledgers. Your user parameters take precedence over the ALV initial layout. You can select an alternative layout on the selection screen or once you are in the transaction. You can have the system store this information and use it the next time you enter the transaction. This setting is in the user editing options. In addition to the display variants that SAP provides, you can also create your own display variants which enables you to define your own specific view of a list. You can select the fields that you want to view in the column selection from the column set by using the arrows. You can filter the fields that you do not require by removing them from the column selection. You can sort the fields in the column selection in the order that you require. In the FBL asterisk N financial accounting line item reports, you can add special fields to the column set in addition to the ones that are already displayed. See SAP note 112312. This is not a modification of the standard system but a business transaction event.
following are the selection criteria for line item evaluation. The accounts in which you want to see line items in specific company codes. The selection criteria that you can choose using search help. The selection of line items themselves based on their status and category. The list output options are layout and maximum number of items. When you make your account selection from the general ledger or GL accounts, customer accounts and vendor accounts, you can use simple and multiple selections to include or exclude individual accounts and account intervals from the selection. If you choose the work lists available field, you can activate and deactivate the input fields for work lists on the selection screen for each line item list. If the work lists exist, when you choose the work list input fields active field, you call up the selection screen for the line item display. This selection screen is displayed with input fields for work lists. You can maintain the values for work lists by running transaction code OB55. When you select items using search help, the system provides the following input help for the GL account, vendor, and customer line item lists. You can choose items for the line item list based on their status and category. When you choose open items, you choose items that are or were open at a specific time. The current date is proposed by default. If you choose cleared items, the system displays items that were cleared by the clearing date specified as well as the items that were still open on the key date specified. If you do not specify the clearing date and the key date, the system displays all the cleared items. If you want to see open and cleared items, choose All Items. You can restrict this selection by entering a range for the posting date. In some industries, customers submit orders locally, that is through a branch office, but pay invoices centrally at the head office. SAP differentiates between the flow of goods and the flow of money. In the SAP system, you can set up head office and branch accounts. All items posted to a branch account are automatically forwarded to the head office account. If you choose the branch and head office indicator, a dialog box appears for each branch account. In the dialog box, you can choose whether the branch can display the items that are managed at the head office. If you deactivate the dialog box, the setting made in the items managed at head office field is applied automatically. When you display line items, you can make a selection by net due date. If you choose the selection, by net due date field in the editing options of the user parameters. The system activates the input fields for the selection by net due date on the selection screen. In the header of the SAP list viewer or ALV classic list, you can display the keys for the icons for item statuses such as open, parked and cleared as well as the icons for due dates, such as overdue, due, and not due. In the editing options for the line items display, you can choose whether you want to see these keys when you call up the list. The key date is the determining factor in classifying whether an item is open or cleared. By backdating an item, you can display the status of the item on a key date in the past. Items posted after the key date are not displayed. When you post items, the system automatically fills the assignment field for a line item according to the sort field entry in the master record. The assignment field can be a combination of up to four fields with a maximum of 18 characters. For example, to display the document number, 10 characters, and the posting date, 6 characters, include these field names in the assignment field definition. 
if you choose the purchase order number sort key in the customer or vendor master record. The assignment field for the line item contains the purchase order number for customers or vendors. If you choose a cost center as the sort key in a GL master record, the assignment field in the corresponding GL account line item contains the number of the cost center when you post to this GL account. The line items in the line item display are frequently sorted by the value in the assignment field. When you post an invoice in Sales and Distribution or SD, an accounting document is created in FI. The accounting document has a document number that is usually not identical to the number of the invoice in SD. Using the reference and the assignment, you can find out the SD document on which the accounting document is based. The reference and the assignment in the FI invoice are copied from the reference and assignment in the SD billing document. You can define which numbers, such as purchase order, sales order, delivery, and billing document are copied as a reference and which are copied as an assignment in the SD document and then copied into FI. You can then use these fields as selection criteria in FI.